Hey all and welcome back to the Stitch 76 channel. Now today we've had a request come through to explain the differences between wiring batteries in parallel and in series. So I'm going to show you that today with our voltmeters, show you how difference in voltage and what happens when you wire them in the two different methods. Now I have marked this video as safe for kids. So purely for the fact that this is something children can do as well. Children, if you are watching, please always make sure you have an adult with you when using batteries in any shape, purpose or rewiring. Always make sure you have an adult to assist you. So today we're going to discuss differences between batteries. So I'm going to set our voltmeter to this setting here. So it'll read a maximum of 20 volts. And we're going to check these two batteries out. So we have two batteries here. We have this battery at 12 volts, 12.2, and this battery at 12.1. So very similar voltage. So they're two 12 volt batteries. We're purely using these for testing. Now, if we were to wire these batteries in parallel, as hopefully the camera's picking up, you can see we have a red terminal for positive on both ones and a negative terminal for negative. Okay? So, all batteries are exactly the same. So what we'll do first of all, we'll wire these in series. Now series is where you get double the voltage. So we had, we have two batteries running at 12 volts. If we wire these in series, we'll have a total of 24 volts. But what we need to take into account when doing this is that our capacity, okay, of the batteries will only be the same as one battery. So both batteries need to have the same capacity. So if there are rated as a seven amp hour battery as these are, they both need to be seven amp hours. So we will have 24 volts at seven amp hours, okay? So what we do first of all, to wire them in series, we need to take our connector wire to our positive terminal one battery, and then connect that to the negative terminal on our other battery, like so. So we we'll swap our voltmeter now so it can read. We we'll swap it to the 200 setting so it can now read over the voltage. Because before, obviously, we limited it to only reading at 12 volts. So now if we connect to, oh, let's slide the batteries back a bit. We've seen how they're connected up. So we're gonna put it just here so we can see our voltmeter and we're gonna light it up to make it a little bit clearer. So if we now look, these two batteries give us 24.4 volts. So if we were to connect something to hit these two terminals now, like a light bulb or a motor, we'd have 24 volts going to it instead of 12. Now, of course, sometimes you don't want to double the voltage. You actually want to double the capacity. So if we wanted to wire these in parallel, that would be called, we connect the positive to the positive, and we also connect the negative to the negative. Now, what this means is we have 12 volts, okay, at 14 amp hours because we take the two amp hours and add them together this time in parallel. So let's have a look. So we'll change our voltmeter back to the 20 setting. And when we connect to one battery, we'll see you can use however you want to connect to these to read your source. But if we connect now, we will now see we have 12 volts, okay? So that is the difference between batteries in series and parallel. So to take away from this, when you wire batteries in series, you add the voltage together. When you wire batteries in parallel, you add the capacity together. Okay? So series, voltage, parallel, capacity. As always, if you're a child, make sure you have an adult helping with you. Always stay safe when operating with electricity and batteries, you do have a chance of hurting yourself. And once again, if you have any other requests, please let me know and I'll do my best to explain. If you've liked this video, hit that like button down below and hit subscribe for further videos. There will be more educational ones coming up as well. So thank you all and have a good day. Goodbye.